Hey guys, it's Dr. Morales. I know you used to see me in clinic, but today we're gonna go over the top three exercises not to do after breast augmentation. Let's go check it out. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get this big weight. Oh, stop. What? What are you doing? I can't, I can't lift this? No, don't ever, ever do that. Top three exercises not to do after breast augmentation. All right, I want you to introduce you to my lovely wife, um, and her name is Corey. And so I've found three exercises that I strongly, strongly discourage you not to do after breast augmentation. Don't do this, ladies. So we're gonna talk about the first one. And the first one's pretty straightforward. You can really do this almost anywhere. All you gotta do is find a bench. There are machines in the gym that you'll find specifically for this exercise, and it's called the dip. So dips are basically, they're basically putting your hands behind your back, you can be on the edge of like a, like a bench. This is very common to put on a bench. And the concept of it is, is that you're gonna exercise both your chest, but also you exercise your tricep in the back, which is the back of your arm. And so what I don't like about this exercise is that it puts a lot, a lot of tension on the chest muscle. And the chest muscle is obviously behind your breast uh, tissue, but what's also behind your muscle is an implant. And that's what the really board, the big concept of this uh, surgery that you need to understand is that when it implants behind the muscle any kind of pressure or tension or a lot of force will push on that implant and for anatomically what's going to happen the implant gets pushed out to the side gets pushed out to the side and so with time if you continue to do these exercises I'm telling you not to do with time in five years ten years depends on how hard you train and how you're trying you're training your chest you can have this complication called malposition where the implants pushed down or below where the implant's supposed to be on the brass. And so the implant can like, kind of be in your armpit, I gotta fix it, and that's a reconstructive surgery. And I strongly feel that that can be avoided. And so I've learned this by doing revision surgery for women and bodybuilders in the industry, power lifters, and women who continue to train their chest after implants placed, and that push the implants on the side and have to fix them. So, please listen to me. Trust me that you're not gonna um, be, you know, weekend by not training your chest. I want to assure you that just limiting your, your three, these three exercises, you'll be able to have a great physique in your upper body and not, not have any imbalances. The second exercise I strongly discourage you from doing after breast augmentation is called a chest press. And so this, this specific movement is designed to increase the, the tone and the strength of the chest muscle itself. And again, your, the implant lives behind the chest muscle. So this is an example of what a, what a chest press machine does. But it's, uh, you can recreate this machine and movement to free weights as well. It's like, like the bench press with free weights and or dumbbells or the cables. But this is the chest press. You don't want to do this. You want to show them, Corey? Yes. So again, as you see her, the primary muscle being used is the pectoralis major, which is the muscle here. And you can almost kind of see like when she pushes down, like how her, her muscle's contracting and she's kind of pushing on that implant. So she's gonna feel pressure within the chest, but it's also pushing on the implant itself. So again, the idea is you don't want the implants being pushed out that way with time as she gets stronger and stronger in this movement. All right, so here's the third exercise I strongly recommend that you stop doing if you have breast implants, and that is the fly. So there's different varieties of flies, so I'm gonna show you on a machine fly on the movement, but you can also find this version of the fly movement in cables, you can do weights, um, on bench um, and or incline, decline, same thing with the flies, you have varieties to do. Any version of fly is a no in my book. So just kind of walk you through this, this uh, machine. Basically the whole point of this machine is to stretch the chest muscle and to create contraction specifically only to the chest muscle and that's again, that's the muscle we do not want to train when you have breast implant. And you can see here is that she opens her arms up the primary muscle being worked is the chest muscle, and that's this. And you can see here on her as well, when it, this is a great demonstration, is that her implants are behind her muscle. And this is where her implants live. Again, the muscle is on top of the implant. And as she's working harder and harder and contracting harder, that tension with time and strength will push the implants out to the side. And that's again, what we want to try to prevent. Don't do this exercise. Thanks for volunteering. Of course. Happy to do it. It's your turn to fold the laundry though.
And don't forget, like and subscribe, and we'll keep giving you more content.